Hey everybody, I'm Garrett. And I'm Carolyn. And we're Diary of a Family. We're living life intentionally with you. Today we are answering the big question. How do you make money on the road? Yes. So there are many different ways that you can make money while traveling. We're going to share with you some of the ways that we afford to travel full time. If you aren't already retired and living on that income, you have to find some way to support yourself. Being that, you know, you have vehicles to still insure and uh, there's health insurance, that, that's our biggest cost, basically. Yep. Uh, so how do you go about bringing in some cash while you're traveling full time? Our first step was to look at some of the skills that we had and see how could we make money from that. So I obviously have my degree in nursing and my license. So that was our first choice uh, to get us on the road right away, to get me out there as a travel nurse taking contracts with hospitals in the areas that we travel to. So what are the pros and cons of travel nursing? Well, the pro is I was already educated and working with a great company. These sweatshirts that we are modeling are from Atlas Med Staff. It was quite easy just to kind of learn the business, how to become a travel nurse, where you can just hop in, do what you need to do for that hospital, and then be on your way. I would say the pro is you're not at a job any longer than 13 weeks unless you sign a contract for longer or extend a contract. So if you don't like the hospital you're working at, you can just take off and go. I would say the major con to this is the contract that you have to sign. Uh, the shortest contract that I have signed was 12 weeks long, and that keeps you in a location for quite a while. So you aren't able to do as much traveling as maybe you would desire. We would really like to get to see all of the United States, all 50 states, and explore some of the remote locations, but that is difficult when we are stuck in a contract. Another con might be that if you're not very flexible and you like things to be steady and consistent, you'll learn a job, you get to know it really well for years. Travel nursing really isn't necessarily for you. You have to be very flexible, you have to learn on the fly, and you have to be okay with asking questions. The second way that we make a living on the road is through affiliate marketing. One way is our YouTube channel. Uh, we also have some affiliates that we run with other companies. But really and truly, it doesn't bring in a whole lot of money. It is really helping us to uh, get better at YouTube and it helps us maybe every once in a while pay for a small bill here and there. Uh, but really, it has not taken off where it can fully support us. It does just help supplement. If you want to know more about our affiliates, go ahead and check out our website at diaryofafamily.com. You will find a section there on our affiliate products. You can also check the link in the description. Most of the products that are listed down below are also affiliate links. Our final means of income is something that we are just starting out doing. I am a newly certified RV technician and we are in the process right now of starting up a mobile RV repair business. This is really exciting and if you've been following our journey for any amount of time, you know this has taken up the majority of our life over the past uh, month or two. It's really exciting that Garrett will now have a means of income while we're traveling on the road. And it also gives us that opportunity to travel faster and not be stuck in an area for 12, 13 weeks like my nursing contracts would have us. One of the only cons that I see of the business is where are we going to carry all the tools that I technically need oh for this business? There are so many things. Most people have trailers that they pull along with them in their work trucks. We will have to decide what's most important for us and maybe possibly create a space for his tools in the RV or possibly even change our method of traveling. So this is how we make money on the road. Let's find out how some of our friends 
also make an income while traveling. Hi, we're Jim and Donna Goodwin, and uh, we're just going to share with you a little bit about what we have done to, to uh, have, make income while we've been on the road. We are full-time RVers from, uh, based out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and we've been living in our trailer for the last four years. Well, if you have something existing that you're doing, that you were doing before you hit the road, if you can take that with you in some way, that's good. And typically that's going to be an internet thing. I had a web design company, small web design company that I, I worked on the side for my regular job. And I was able to bring that with me on the road. As long as I have an internet connection, I can move it that way. Donna did some uh, data entry before we hit the road and she was also able to take that with her. As long as that lasted with the current situation with COVID and everything, she can't do that right now. But that could be something that uh, could come back to us. Right, because things change as, we, as we're all well aware. Um, the other thing that we have done is we have uh, started doing some work camping jobs. So we did some in the summertime in Alberta, a couple of uh, jobs last winter here in BC. Yeah, we were just sitting around the campfire you know, two or three years ago and thought, you know, we should do something extra to make some extra money on the road. So uh, we just simply made up a one page a uh, little blurb about ourselves that we had a picture of us and our rig and our experience that we had on the road and, and what we were looking for, uh, what kind of jobs we wanted to do and what we wanted for compensation. So we sent that out to several RV parks in the Alberta area where we wanted to work. We got responses from two or three of them, I think three maybe, mm -hmm. and we actually ended up working at one just because of that. Once we had that under our belt, then we're able to revise that little blurb every year and send out the blurb again to other parks with our additional experience on them. Right, and so the first, um, the first, my first job was to be working in the office doing the reservations. Jim has worked in grounds in most of the campgrounds. Yeah, and I think also too, when you're looking for these work camping jobs, is to tell them what you're looking for. If you just looking for a campsite with full hookups for the summer or the season, then you're typically gonna be working maybe 20 hours a week per person. If you're looking for uh, that plus some wages, then you're probably gonna be working somewhere between 20 hours and full time. That's what we're doing for making a little extra money on the side. And uh, we like doing that, we're looking forward to doing more. So uh, happy camping everybody. Bye-bye, Merry Christmas. Hi, I'm Ross Smith and I'm a retired teacher. And while my husband and I are traveling, I would love to be able to generate a little extra income by doing some tutoring. I was an ESL teacher the last 12 years of my career. And I'd love to be able to work with, work with students, help teach them English, or help them with reading skills, or consult with parents to help them with strategies while their children are doing virtual school. I do Skype one particular student who lives in China, 12 hours, 12 hours away. So I, I have done Skype with one student, but I'd love to be able to open it up to more. Hi, I'm Shalane, this is Dean, and we're Grassroots Living. We're not old enough to draw Social Security, that we're not independently wealthy. So in order for us to go out and enjoy the traveling that we do, we work camp. And so we've had so many different types. Like um, one of the first things that we did was uh, we were campground hosts up at 10,000 feet. Um, there was no internet, there was no electricity, there was nothing up there but a beautiful lake with beautiful pine trees all around. Yeah, we actually did three different campgrounds up there, but that was that one at 10,000 feet, I think had such an impact on us that that's usually the one that we talk about yeah. most. It was so gorgeous. And we, and we did some more campground hosting, uh, KOA yeah. we did. We, right. Uh, our most recent one was in Kansas City at Smithville Lake. Yeah, in Kansas City, which we enjoyed, which we enjoyed too. It was um, just a lot different. We have a video about that, about that gig, don't we? Mm -hmm. um, we we actually have a whole 
work camping playlist if you want to find out more about the things that that we've done and i'm sure that probably garrett and carolyn will go ahead and link that in the description below for you so you can find out more about that so we've got a video on that and then also we did adventureland which was a theme park and that was kind of an an interesting gig kind of a fun gig you know you go to work and you smell popcorn and cotton candy every day all day that's fun you hear a lot of little kids screaming every time they go down a roller coaster yeah so they're happy that one's a fun one got in a video on that one uh what else we did uh warehouse work uh usually right before christmas you know, you, Amazon gets this huge rush. Uh, J.C. Penney gets a huge rush of people yeah. ordering things, so they or, they hire a lot of work campers. So we worked at a hotel. What the random worked yeah. at a hotel? You a did motel. kind of motel. You did like housekeeping and maintenance. Uh -huh. And I was a nanny for the owner, so that was really different. And really, I signed on for maintenance, but uh, they had one housekeeper. It's a very small little mom and pop yeah. operation. Oh, well, we worked at Bolin. Uh, it's a travel center. So In we retail. retail. Love working retail. We really enjoy retail. We really enjoy people. What are you doing now? I'm teaching. I'm teaching. You know, that's the nice thing about um, Dean and I are both uh, school teachers. And so anytime- Before I retired and became a work camper. Right, 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 right. <laughs> so anytime we need to get off the road, and right now with the whole thing with the weird election and the whole COVID thing and that kind of, that kind of stuff, we felt like it might be best to kind of sit still um, near family. And so I went back into teaching, and that is the nice thing for us with having a teaching degree is that we can just go into teaching anytime we need to. And you know, our house is still on wheels. We're still full-time RVers, still full time work campers uh, have a great yeah, the funny thing is because we don't want to give up our life on the road so no. when we work camp we usually stay there anywhere from three to five months or so be brave be adventurous get out there even if you're sitting still and you want to get out there talk to your boss maybe you can work something out so thank you diary of a family for asking us to do this and we hope that whoever's watching it might be interested in this that um, you take the leap and try it out. It's a fabulous way of life. It is, it's an awesome way. All right, see ya. Bye. Quite a few of these channels are friends of ours. Check out their links in the description below to find out more about them and their YouTube channels. Here's our biggest encouragement to you. Just go out there and do it. If you want to get on the road, find a way that you can make some money and get out there and travel. I would add to that to make sure to diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. This last year with COVID-19 and the shutdown has definitely pointed out to uh, many people the need for diversifying your income. I had a great paying contract starting in April and by the end of May that contract was canceled and we were without work again. Well, I didn't expect this to happen. I came to work today and was told that was the last day I was working and I was being canceled. So here we are in Reno, about halfway through our contract, and I have no job. Thanks, COVID. You messed things up for us. It's very important, though, for us to keep a steady income, to pay our bills, and to stay ahead. That's the biggest thing. Find mm, different methods of even bringing in just small, small amounts of income. So these are some of the ways that we are also considering in the future to make some money on the road. I have contemplated doing voiceover work for advertisements. I've looked into possibly contracting my video making skills to those that might need it, um, including uh, drone footage. I have talked about, batted around the idea and even started writing children's books. This is a great means of passive income once that book is finished and published. But I don't have any experience with book writing or publishing, so we will see what happens. We have so many ideas that we want to pursue, but a lot of times we just don't have enough time to really make a lot of that come to fruition. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, live, live life intentionally. intentionally. Bye y'all.